All right, so it's that time of year where the nutsedge is coming in. So if you see light green grass that is starting to grow faster than your regular grass, chances are that's nutsedge. And I got a little piece here to show you. This is a piece that started to seed. I pulled this over by the fire pit. Most of the time, you don't, you don't wanna pull this because of the, the root system. It's just gonna come back even more next year. The only way to really knock this down is to spray it. In the past, I used this stuff called sedge hammer, which worked really well. And uh, this year, I have a lot of nut sedge everywhere, so I picked up, it's basically the active ingredient inside of sedge hammer. This is called Halo 75. And to, uh, to spray this, I got a gallon of water in the switch tank, so I'm gonna mix up a gallon at a time. And I have it all over the property, so I'm also gonna put some blue dye in it so I know what I sprayed. And hopefully in a week, it'll all be knocked out. And if it's not, then I'll hit it again. But Nutsedge, it's a real pain in the neck. You can literally cut it, and then the next day, it's like probably three quarters to an inch and a half higher than your regular grass. It just grows a lot faster. So like I said, I've used Sedge Hammer for years and it's a great product and I highly recommend it. If you have just a little bit of nut sedge, it's in its own little packet. You mix up a gallon, throw a packet in there and you're good to go. You don't have to put any surfactant in it or anything. I just have a ton of it this year. I think because it rains so much, it's like every four days it's raining. So it seems to be all over the yard this year. So I picked up this other product, which is basically Sedge Hammer. It's just a lot of it. And I forget how much this costs, but this will last a long time. I can get a lot of applications out of this. Uh, the difference between this and the Sedge Hammer is I believe the Sedge Hammer has a surfactant mixed into it. Whereas this, I'm gonna have to add my own. So I have, I have a surfactant right here to mix in it. You could use baby shampoo. Um, I've done that before, but uh, that's easy too, and that's not that expensive to get the surfactant. Yeah, so uh, let's mix up a batch and start hammering these, uh, these weeds. So inside this box here comes with a little, little measuring cup. This is good for a gallon of water or a thousand square feet. I already got a gallon of water in here. And like I mentioned, I'm gonna be putting some blue dye in this, so hopefully it doesn't ruin the tank, but if it does, whatever. Crack this thing open. Okay. And I'll do some blue dye. This has been sitting in my basement for years because I never use it. Try that out. Hopefully it doesn't ruin the tank. Wowzers. Should be pretty good. Let's go kill some nut sedge. All right, so I don't see any nut sedge over here. Once you see it, you'll know exactly what it is. Like, all oh, this is nut sedge. That's not, that's like crabgrass. It's got like a lime green color to it. And I don't know what this other weed is here. So I guess we'll see what this stuff does to that too. There we go. Make sure to keep the kids in the house. can see it sticking out 
clear as day because I cut this two days ago. And the nuts edge is literally, I mean, this might not be nuts edge right here, but I'll spray it anyway. That definitely is. It's gotta be three inches longer. I might end up making up a couple gallons of this. Let's do a scan here. That's right here in front of me. Didn't spray, I'm glad I put the dye on here. some. to not miss anything. Take a look over here. Two days after you cut the grass is perfect because it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. It's pretty much anything that's really high. This is the section of lawn that I renovated last fall. This came in really good. Not a lot of weeds, a little bit of nuts edge right there. But this grass seed is really nice too. I'm liking it. This is the Lesco Kentucky Bluegrass. It came in really good, really good. All right, I'm gonna move on to the front yard. Ooh, there's a whole bunch of it right here. Let's get this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was a good one. I don't see anything else that's really sticking out. Poison ivy, wonder what it does to poison ivy. Remind me next week, we'll see if that's still there. There's some. Not a complete waste. Get all the poison ivy. Maybe it's a fertilizer for it. Let's do the front yard. Backyard looks good.
this is mainly crabgrass. So I'll spray that next. It's a lot of crabgrass in here. So here's the stuff sedge hammer. This is a really great, great product if you only have a little bit of uh, nut sedge. I recommend this because you don't have to do anything. You just mix up a gallon of water, throw this in there, and you're good to go. And this is, uh, it's fairly inexpensive, so good stuff. But if you have a ton of it, then get the other stuff that I picked up. So hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you made it this far, thank you for watching and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. All right, so I'm, I'm showing my five-year-old how to drive the lawnmower. All right, let's